I think it all probably started in uh, pre-season. Um, we came in and we did a quick debrief of the season before and we all decided there and then that we never wanted to go through that experience again of just you know losing and it was just horrible. We decided that we can do whatever it takes to be a better team and you know be, be in the top four. That, that was a goal we set. How much belief did all you players have at the start of the season? We were in a positive frame of mind because we knew the hard work we'd done in pre-season. We knew that we didn't think there was a team that would have worked as hard as us. Um, so that gave us confidence. And then as soon as the guys got the win away in Leinster, I think that was kind of the catalyst. <laughs> Sometimes that's all you need. Five games left in the Rabo Pro Direct. How massive are these next five games for Glasgow? Yeah, they're huge. Um, that's what it all comes down to, really. We've put in the hard work up to now, but it's all about these next five games. You know, we have to really hold our nerve and um, keep doing what we've been doing. If we win our games, then we'll be fine. On a personal basis, Peter, how much have you enjoyed this season in particular? Maybe the last few weeks you've had a lot more yeah. game time. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. I was out um, for the first part of the shoulder injury, so I didn't enjoy that too much. But um, the last few weeks, I've really enjoyed you know, playing 80 minutes every single week. We've had some good results as well um, the last four games, so we haven't lost. It's OK, he's on side. 10, 10. Do you think you've done enough to secure the fullback position going towards the end of the season now? I'm not sure you know, what the plans are. I, I'd like to think I'd be in contention, but that, that's up to Sean. Um, Hoggy's obviously done pretty well, so um, for Scotland he's been he's been good for them. So it would be up to Sean on what he does. But I'm I'm pleased with how I'm progressing, and um, I need to play well this weekend, and then give Sean a tough decision. What's the rivalry like right between yourself and Stuart for that fullback position? We we get on well. Um, you know he's a good kid. I like him. He works hard. No, there's no sort of rivalry or it's, yeah, it's maybe a bit of banter and stuff. I'm sure he'll be getting a, a fair bit of banter when he comes back next week about uh, being big time and forgetting us, uh, us boys. But uh, no, nah, it's, all, it's all good natured. And uh, if, he, if he does get the shout, then I'll shake him by the hand. You, know, you recently trained with the, the Scotland setup. How much can you learn in that kind of environment and how important is that for your own personal development? Yeah, that was, a, that was a big boost for me. Um, it was a surprise. I wasn't wasn't expecting um, the call, but I really, you know, I learnt a lot. Um, I was there for you know, three days, and it's just nice to be in that environment, uh, learn what it was all about. Um, training was good, um, you know, high skill levels. Um, yeah, and I felt I, le I learnt a lot um, and heading in the right direction. Gregor Townsend said to me that it was kind of a recognition of the last um, few games that I've been called in. Um, and he was pleased with how I've been playing, so it's nice to know that, um, that you're being watched and uh, you know, they'll recognise if you're playing well. You just need to get the balance right. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Everyone's moved on quite quickly. Sean said straight away, we are getting to these playoffs, um, and, and that's it didn't kind of want to let it affect us and undo all our hard work so we just cracked straight on and we've been preparing for a rainy for the last two weeks so we just kind of moved on quickly from it really. What's your own relationship like with Sean and how has he helped you develop as a player? Yeah it's good I mean Sean obviously gave me my shot um, three years ago he picked me up from the championship um, and I'll always be grateful um, to him for that so there's a lot of good players in the championship you, you know may never get out of that league um, and personally you know he's he's helped me a lot he's you know goes through my games and you know, gives me little, little bits of you know tips and you know, ways I can improve and we work work hard on the training pitch to try and improve. The Glasgow boys already know Gregor Townsend is he the man do you think to build on the foundations that Sean has in place here at Glasgow? Yeah, I've, um, I worked a few times with Gregor. Um, he's, he's coming and do a bit, bit of work with the backs, um, and I've been impressed with um, you know, the way he coaches. He's um, very clear on how he wants the game played, and obviously the Scotland guys, the guys who have been involved a lot with Scotland, know know him really well, and they they speak very highly of him. So, um, look forward to working with him next year. Really.